So let me continue. Just gonna skip that. I already saw that. You came to clean up this city, didn't you? It'd be easier to burn it all, all, all to the ground. Believe me. I ain't going here Don't last you time. Please Move. keep the noise down. You're scaring off my customers. That's right. I can give them a noise pollution hey, ticket. It's ridiculous. Good evening. Are those two men bothering you? First, they harass my customers. Then they threaten to burn down my shop. You need to do something about it, officer. What do you want, cop? Can't we have a little bit of fun? We did nothing wrong. Car defense mechanism initiated. Electrocution commencing. Electrocution. In eight. Seven. Is he bluffing? That's what I was wondering. Six. He's such a chicken shit. I don't want to find out. Five. Four. Oh, they're already gone. I want to do the other options. Give me some food. Where was the back way? Can't get through. Empty store. Business is bad. Got that girl over here. Hey, there was something Bobo, here. Can you help me out here? Yeah. Hey, man, pig. Why make such a big deal? Yeah, see, there's always a little side story. Officer, I'm trying to catch this one shifty dealer. This guy steals nuke from other pushers to sell it at half price. This dopehead buys from him but won't tell me his whereabouts. I don't know any dealer. You were carrying for three different pushers, so you either like to walk for miles to buy nuke, or you appreciate a discount. <laughs> don't take it out on me, cause the guy broke your nose. As you can see, he doesn't want to cooperate. Do not worry. According to my directives, there are several ways to convince him to cooperate. I, I ain't gonna let it reprogram my brain. We can talk, but don't let it drill into my head, okay? The guy's name's Maurice, but I don't know where to find him. I always arrange a place over a payphone. I'll give you the number. Let's hope it works. The dealer knows where the others hide their stash. We could collect nuke from the whole neighborhood if we get to him. I will take care of it. But you need to find a payphone first. Try near the supermarket. I think at least one of them hasn't been smashed by vandals yet. Discount dealer. Okay, so now I can see the, um, now I understand the radar up there. It says north, and east, south, and west. So I didn't understand in the demo. Yes, on the streets. Nice shiny <laughs> armor, officer. <laughs> Wanna be my knight? That's crazy. Yes, she is, guys. On the streets. Ridiculous. Um, yeah, that's the arcade. That's the main objective. But this is over here, so. What about with these guys? The biker gang. <laughs> and she takes off her top and says, Hey, this is a private conversation, pig. Wow. I wanted to go around the back way, but I'll go this way. Robocop, man. Yeah, he's in here. He's 
drew a gun. Ask me for money. Only a moron steals from a beggar. That's what I said. But then he started shooting. Is there a ladder up there? Hmm. Wait, it's over here. I haven't congratulated you yet. Well, this is new. Here's my favorite TV star. <laughs> Thanks to you, Kurtz finally had a reason to watch something other than the fast food channel. I was merely doing my duty. That kind of hostile situation is not the only thing I can resolve. Can you tell me what happened here? Nasty murder. The victim is a white female, mid-twenties, identified as Casey Carmel. Had a history of petty crime and prostitution, but uh, believe it or not, that's her real name. Any leads? The case is closed. OCP won't spend a single dime on the murder of a prostitute. Cost optimization. Fancy name for we don't give a shit about poor people. So if you were to look around the crime scene, you would potentially be exposing OCP to extra costs. If you want to do that, be our guest. Is that homeless man considered a suspect? Nah, we know the guy. You can rule him out. The guy's a loon, a mental patient. He thinks that aliens dumped the body here. Talk to him if you want. Uh, <laughs> Just prepare to hear a tall tale about green people. Do you have any thoughts about that murder? I bet the girl was killed somewhere else, uh, and the body was only dumped here. Now we got the tire tracks, drag marks. Uh, if we find a car that matches, we'll find our perp. Yeah, I guess the perp had his hands covered in some green-blue guacamole-ish goo, and the body's covered in it. Why does it always come back to food with you? Anyway, we need to do a proper analysis. Yeah, similar to the Expanse game I worked on, where you can choose multiple options here. I don't know if it changes the outcome. The best way to cut the costs of policing is to cut the criminals down. Tell me about it. I didn't join the force to pick up dead bodies off the street. Yeah, but what can we do? I will look around. We must bring the murderer to justice. Kill Casey. There's like multiple objectives I'm doing. I still have to get in here. Oh, I can't just kick the door open. Yeah, so far I haven't found a way inside here. Oh no. There's no way in. But it says this is where the discount dealers are. Yeah, I didn't know how to read the radar in the demo, but I can't get in there. Kill Casey Carmel is saying is over here. Maybe I am reading it wrong. Let me see. Custom extended real base. Have you seen a vehicle like this around? Nah. But that narrows it down significantly. Good catch, man. There you go in there. I'm already doing that. Uh, 
Yeah, probably belonged to our victim. Let's try to find other clues. Blood. Poor Casey. Hmm. What do you know about the dead body we found here? Uh, it's as simple as it gets. Aliens did it. Aliens? I've been investigating them for years. They send rats to spy on me. They don't want me to show you this list. What list? Oh, this, yeah. It's a list of aliens living in Detroit. All 37,617 of them. The murderer included. Am I on the list? On the alien list? <laughs> of course not. You're on another list. But let's not worry about that now. The, the scale of this conspiracy frightens me too. But, 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 but maybe we can narrow it down if you found any clues at the scene. You know, something unusual? I'm afraid I cannot rely on your assumptions. But please do stay available for further questioning. Hmm. That was it. So let's go back to the main city street area. I can't get inside here. There's the ladder. It's not much up here, but I'll show it off again. You see that guy down there? Wait. He's an asshole. See anything? I may need to unlock the dash to go faster. What's up, sugar? Looking for some company? Company. Good evening. Was Casey Carmel a friend of yours? Oh, this is the Casey she Carmel. She was found dead a few hours ago. So it's true. I usually don't talk to the cops, but Casey bragged she met with some rich guy from TV. She was going to milk him dry. But who the guy was, only Casey knew. That's all I know. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a customer. <clears throat> Someone waiting for me. So she was part of an actual mission, okay. Just saying, go back over here. I thought it was over with. Yeah, neither, Dash. So I have 990 out of uh, 1,000. So. Yeah, I need to look at my shockwave. I don't know what the key is. Let's see. Try that for shockwave.
Yeah, dude, I need to unlock the dash. It's so slow. Oh, that was it. That was my run button. Okay. Oh. Somebody dumped her a few feet from here. The blood traces on the ground indicate she was dragged. Her heels had to touch the ground when the body was dragged. That's this green blue shit under her arm. No idea what it might be, but there is more of it around. Nasty wound. Looks like she was hit with a blunt object, possibly a hammer. Objective update. Back to this dude. Most likely a van with a custom extended wheelbase. Does your list contain any information on such a vehicle? Jackpot! I've got a guy with a van that matches your description. I don't know his ID, but I know where you can find him. A film set near the courthouse. They're shooting a TV commercial and it's run by aliens, so it all makes sense. Casey must have discovered something there, and they got her. That must have been what's happened. Why do you think that aliens are involved? I saw the guy who dumped the body here. I saw his skin. It was green and glowing like those toy dinosaurs that children play with, and years later develop serious diseases from. <laughs> Why do you think that aliens run the set? Who do you think runs the advertising business? They're stuffing commercials with subliminal messages. They, they, they use additional film frames with commands to make us obey. Don't you know what happens to those who watch TV? What is the purpose of your list? It's my tool to spread the truth. I update it every month and add it to my newsletter. You should read it. It's free. You'll find out some stuff that you wouldn't see on TV. Like what? Take the moon landing, for example. Hey. Didn't happen. Why? Because the moon doesn't exist. First time hearing about it? That's why you need my newsletter. I will verify your statement. Nevertheless, I recommend you consult a psychiatrist at the <laughs> earliest possible time. Now, the set. He's a psychiatrist. That's right, this is my run button. Just a little faster. Okay. It's more of a fast walk. Mike was driving and we heard what we thought was a blown tire, but it was just a gunshot. That's right. Get a ticket for this? Wow, he gets a ticket for that. One that likes swimming in oil surely must be swimming in money. Got experience though. I thought it was. Can I skip to this? No, I might as well wait. You need two skill points for anything. Hey, I'll learn less if you hang around here. Oh yeah, the phones. Yeah, I forgot there was a run button until just now. This is, oh, that's what this is. 
What is happening here? Uh, they're shooting a TV commercial for Sunblock 5000. Night does not seem an appropriate time for such practice. Yeah, they ran into some problems, and it's running later than expected. I swear, we're staying here until we finish, or you're doing it without me. Jerry, don't you think you're being unreasonable? You better find us another understudy so we can get this over with! Let him in. We don't want to hinder the work of law enforcement. I have reason to believe that someone from your crew is involved in a crime. We found a green-blue substance like your sunblock at the crime scene. The suspect was driving a van with a custom extended wheelbase. We use a lot of different vans, but I would know if they're the type you're looking for. In that case, I would like to look around. Actually, you could be of some use to me, too. I have a problem here, and its name is Jerry. Jerry Jenkins. I need a reason to cancel his contract, and I think you could find one for me. That does not sound like a task of a police officer. Ah, uh, but it could be, though. I'm sure he's guilty of something. You just have to find out what it is. I can give you access to anything without a warrant. Hmm. Your proposal may be considered punitive. I will hold anyone who breaks the law responsible. I believe that. Dig deep. I bet Mr. Big Shot doesn't have a clear conscience. Start with the computer. There's a list of vehicles allowed to park on set there. But look for something on Jenkins, too. Sunblock. Storyboards. Yes, and they drove off. I remember this painting from last time. So hold right click. So, something right, interesting in that barrel? My sandwich fell in. Well, you've been dreaming of a hot meal, so here it is.
I guess that's it. The evidence I have gathered shows that you are connected to the investigation that I am conducting. So what? The perpetrator was someone with skin that seemed to be covered with sunblock. I saw the storyboard. You fit the description. Nice try, but I won't even touch that toxic goo. I've got it in the contract. I use body doubles for all the shots where I'm supposedly covered with it. Wait. That bitch sent you after me, didn't she? She's looking for a way to screw me over and hide her incompetence. You want to investigate something, then ask her about the guy she hired as the understudy. His face looks like a walking mugshot. On top of that, I bet he's the one who stole my ring. See what she has to say about him, pal. Hmm. Let's see? I spoke with Jenkins. He mentioned that you hired a criminal. This individual may be the perpetrator I am looking for. You mean the understudy? Did Jenkins tell you that I hired him? He was the one who recommended him for the job. Don't believe me? Check the camera footage to see what good friends they are. Why did you hire the understudy? Jenkins' contract says he will not use sunblock. And none of the professional understudies wanted to do it either. They all say it's toxic. So I had no choice. Jenkins brought a guy and said he could do the job. Where is the understudy now? I have no idea. And that's the whole point. We can't keep shooting because he's disappeared. I hope the guy's in the hospital or worse. Because if he's not, I'll kill him myself. <laughs> it's a joke, of course. You understand jokes, don't you? Show me the footage. Check the camera footage. Who are you, pal? Your agent sent me. Special services. Pussies, man. I've got a place. Of course, Mr. Jenkins, I'll take- Take it and get lost! The smell of hard-boiled eggs mixing with this green shit makes me want to puke. Looking at your face doesn't help either. Hmm. You. You mentioned something about special services. Only the best in Detroit. I find that hard to believe. I've got just the girl for you. Her name's Casey. She's... No names. Go. She's gone now. Your understudy offered you the services of a prostitute. She was likely the prostitute who was killed. People offer me things all the time, but that doesn't mean I accept every one of them. Withholding information about illegal activity is also a crime. Ha! <laughs> if that's the case, I wouldn't be the only criminal in this goddamn business. You know what? Now that I think about it, why shouldn't I help the law enforcement of this here beautiful city? Where can I find the understudy? He works at a gas station nearby. But I don't think that's his main source of income. I am not done with you yet. Do not leave the city. Don't leave. Someone now. Okay, let's go. I always wanted to be a cop. I even applied to the academy, but it turns out that extensive criminal history and drug
my skin. What in the world? <laughs> Sunblock is the least of your worries. Look, I know why you're here, but I'm innocent. I swear. You are being detained in connection with the murder of Casey Carmel. If you require medical attention, it will be given to you. I didn't do it! Jenkins killed her! Jerry Jenkins, the guy from TV! You have to believe me! You will make your statement at the station. And you'll let Jenkins walk free! He's the one who killed Casey! They met here yesterday! Casey's body was covered in sunblock. The evidence points to you. I arranged the meeting, I admit, but I was gone when this happened. When I came back, she was already dead, and I decided to get rid of the body. Jenkins is the only one who could have done it. Why would Jenkins be meeting a prostitute here when there is a motel across the street? His agent got a hold of me and told me that the guy values his privacy. The money was good, and I was able to provide him with a discreet option. And Jenkins was happy with the arrangement. He was bitching at first, but when he saw Casey, he stopped being so picky. Why would Jenkins kill that woman? I don't know. I wasn't there. Are you stalling? She may have mentioned something about wanting to blackmail Jenkins, but I knocked the idea out of her head. At least I think I did. Why did you not go to the police? What would I say? That a famous celebrity killed a street prostitute in the back of my gas station. That's a bit much even for this city. Dumping that woman's body in a dumpster seemed like a better idea to you? It's not my fault that people would rather believe a guy from TV over me. Why did you not go to the police? What would I say? that a famous celebrity killed a street prostitute in the back of my gas station. That's a bit much even for this city. Dumping that woman's body in a dumpster seemed like I think a I clicked this on. Right. It's not my fault that people would rather believe a guy from TV over me. I will verify your version of events, but you will still suffer the consequences of the actions you have taken. Hurry up, please! It burns! Terrestrial marketing and other commercial stuff is subliminal messages being found behind the clip. Hmm. I guess I'm done in there? No. No, I'm not.
I'm not understanding this. Coming up, is your air freshener secretly killing you? Find out at 11. Hmm. So, sort of, wait, what's this? Oh. There you go. Yep. There's the celebrity. So, did you find anything? According to the evidence, Jenkins is guilty of the murder of Casey Carmel. I Jenkins. told you! However, you are guilty of concealing a crime and desecration of a corpse. I will call medical assistance. You will be taken in when your condition permits. Wow. I can't figure out the discount in Joe's situation. Now I have to go back over. I'm not done. That's right, I have to go arrest the guy. I'm going to arrest the actor. Is he gone? No, he's Can't right there. let you in, Robo. They're in the middle of a shot. Yeah. This cannot wait. Why? They say that 20 seconds in the California sunshine is too much these days. Ever since we lost the ozone layer. I have a solution for you if you are looking for some protection against that California sunshine. Where is the he hell? A stay in Detroit prison. Jerry wow. Jenkins, you are under arrest for the murder of Casey Carmel. I've seen you on TV. You're glitching again. Ah, it hurts. For fuck's sake, it hurts. There he goes. Finally. Well. I'm gonna move to this objective since I can't do anything about the discount dealer. Another phone.
trap. Yeah, this is with the kids in here. Give me back my money, you piece of shit. That is going to harass, yeah. Don't you cops ever get bored with harassing successful entrepreneurs? Hey, this shit is rigged. That's a serious accusation, kiddo. Someone might think I would allow such illegal activity in my high-class business, which I do not. I get lost. You work for Soot. Tell me where to find him. You cops are giving me a stomach ulcer. Stop asking me about guys I don't know. Withholding information can lead to bigger trouble than a stomach ulcer. Look, I'm a busy man, so I'm going back to my office now. Why don't you join me there, and we'll talk. Oh, on second thought, you can't do that. Because you don't have a warrant, do you? Mm. What a douchebag. Come back with a warrant, cop. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Have you witnessed the owner participating in any criminal activity? Are you kidding me? Half the things I've seen around here would be enough to put him behind bars for a decade. Let us hear your statement. No way, dude. He might be a douchebag, but if you lock him up, this place will get closed down, and where am I supposed to play hooky then? Children should not skip school. It is important for them to attend every single class. I stopped listening after should. have bloodshot eyes. Body readings suggest substance misuse. Oh man, a real like TJ laser? You are so incredibly shiny. I'm definitely getting more of this stuff. Who sold you drugs? I really shouldn't say, but you are my TV hero, so all right, all right. Uh all of the arcade staff will sell to you. As long as you got cash. Mm. Unfortunately, I'm broke. But I have a great idea. Mm. You you could help me sneak into the basement. They keep a huge stash of goodies down there. Drugs in the basement? I will take care of that. Would you really do that for me? <laughs> Way to go, TJ. <clears throat> Is that the ocean? I think I do shoot people down here. Open the door. I have the warrant. Oopsie. I think I dropped my key somewhere. You'd have to break down this hardened door if you want to get in. That will right. not be a problem. Wow. <laughs> they are. Surrender your weapons. Watch <laughs>
Open the door, or you will regret it. Can't, can't a guy just sell drugs to kids without you harassing him every five minutes? Who, who am I hurting, huh? They all want it. Where do I find soot? Well, if that's the case, shut it, bozo! Unless you want to end up in the ghost house like that cop's informant! And don't you dare open that door, I'll shoot you! I have detected a fault in your ventilation system. Your room is filling up with fumes as we speak. I can already feel it. I can't take it. Not with my asthma. No, don't you touch that door, you damn hypochondriac! Fuck that. I'm getting out. Tell me, where can I find soot? Straight to business, huh? Looks like you're my type of guy. But even if I wanted to help you, I can't. Only his closest people know his whereabouts. I just distribute his stuff. And to be completely honest, I don't want or need to know more than when the next shipment is coming. You must know the location they mentioned. Tell me where they took the police informant. And if I tell you, what's in it for me? Interrogation sequence initiated. You can't do it! I'm a respectable citizen, and I have complex health conditions! Okay, fine, I'll talk! They've taken him to the ghost house. It's what they call one of their sites. From what I've gathered, it's that big, burned-down building a bit down the road. Anyway, that's all I know. That will have to suffice for now. Yeah, and then I'll take it. And open it. I need level six engineering. Okay. Stay here. Dispatch. Requesting a squad car. What? Someone knocked out his teeth, including the gold one. He's asking if anyone found it. Wait. 
The discount dealer. What? Is this Maurice? Listen, man, I'm really swamped with the laundry right now, so make it quick. Could you advise me how a person who would like to try nuke should go about it? You're hoping to get your first bag for free? No way! I'm selling at half price anyway! But wait, your voice. You sound like. That's what I was going to say, his voice. Happy customer. Fucking Robocop! Robocop. You want to bust me? Why don't you do a better job of finding guys who vandalize phone booths? I'm losing customers because they can't find working payphone in this goddamn... What the oh. fuck is it this time? Anybody home? Don't hide, Maurice. Just a friendly visit. You like to do laundry? You should try working at the laundromat instead of violating the basic rules. Robocop, you have to help me! The back of the red building by the supermarket. Apartment okay, six. so I can go there. There's yeah. some guys here. I think they mean business. Hurry. He's on the phone. Well, that's an apartment, he said. So maybe it's not that building. Stolen vehicle. Here. Oh, I'm telling you, officer. Dumpsters are like a bag of candies. You never know what you're going to get. Hmm. I'm the kill. I hear footsteps. If someone starts shooting again, make sure the kids hide under the bed. Active substance. Dude. All the shoe prints. The left, I'm no. The roof. Listen, guys. I'll never touch your stuff again, I swear! That's not why we're here. So what do you want? The money? I have your money. You only have half of it, and that's the problem. You're selling our product at half price. That makes my customers complain about my prices. It ain't nice, Maurice! Maybe you think that building a customer base by selling your product under its manufacturing costs is a good idea. Under what? But it's not. Such practices are spoiling the market. It's been proven time and time again that such action leads to a reduction of future demand, yours included. Antitrust laws are there for a reason. Shit, Maurice. All we want to say is that you violate the basic rules of the market with your predatory pricing. 
We can't just go along with that. It's unfair and unethical. Not to mention illegal. The fuck? You are under arrest. Come quietly, or this may be the last economics discussion you will ever have. Uh oh. Get him! They're dead. They are dead. Uh -oh. Break it end up! Wow. Oh shit, man! Why did you do that? What am I gonna sell now? There are serious charges against you, Maurice. However, you can hope for a reduced sentence if you reveal where these three dealers keep their drugs. That warehouse. Or I can jump into that pile of garbage below. A few bruises is better than jail. Do you know what the likelihood is of surviving that? I know the hood better than you do, cop. So try some different talk, or I'll jump. Even if you escape, so does have to get you. You will be safer in prison. I missed our meeting. I was busy, but he doesn't get that. Doing laundry is important to me. It relaxes me. If you cooperate, you can get a job at the prison laundry. You mean I eat and live for free? And I do what I like to do anyway? <sighs> I, I I feel like I won the lottery, man. Wow. I'll tell you where these jerks kept the stuff, but I have to have our deal in writing. Decided to cooperate. There's another one. That's three. So I'm here at the warehouse. But it's done. Yeah, I guess that was it. Let's go here. Heard your daughter was promoted to executive, huh? Well, why not ask her for help? I'd rather ask the devil. My daughter is cold and hot. Why do you think they promoted her in the first place? Evening, officer. Did he just steal a handbag? Oh, yeah, it is. And who's a debt collector? Why can't I open the door for him? Dad, tell me the truth. Are we poor? Dad? Dad! Tired of your kids asking annoying questions? You just want to relax after a long day of work, but someone won't let you? Are we going to be okay? Dad, I'm scared. Snoozers. Sleeping, Sleeping pills, pills for, for kids. kids. Just one pill can guarantee five hours of peace. Nap time just became your decision. Sleep tight, son. <sighs> I'm tired. Because you deserve a peace of mind, too. Remind me of uh, GTA. The radio. Uh-oh. Vandalism. Citizen, I am ordering you to discontinue this deliberate act of vandalism. S screw you, man! So what, what, what you gonna do? You you can't put me behind bars. I, I'm still a kid and only done it once. D just let me off with a warning, will ya? 
You are being fined $100 for the violation that you have committed. Are you crazy? I, I don't work. How am I supposed to pay for this? Failing to pay may result in serious consequences for your guardians. Oh, wow. That's crazy. That's an uncool move you pulled right here. I'll make sure everyone in the hood knows your score. Let's go. Oh yeah, this area. I think this may be the huge area where there's a shootout. Yeah, this is it. Oh shit! It's a metal fist! Look who it is! You need to be caught some man. <laughs> Right, oh yeah. They call it assault rifle seventy four. It's not the AK forty seven. But my favorite gun. Spray him. Blast him. Spray it all. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, Look at this. I can. Oh, dude. I didn't see that in the demo. Oh, yeah, they're screwed. Look what I have. Oh my god. There's no reload for it. Yeah, can't do it. Vitality level two.
know if I want to breach there yet. Now that's the main door. Basically, a shortcut. Are you the police informant? Do you know where I can find Soot? Uh, oh, man, all great questions, but uh, could you untie me first? They really outdid themselves with these knots. Talk. Hey, I, I don't know how you usually operate, but that type of information don't come free. Then my service is free. No, of course not. You're right. You did save my skin. So. It seems that the new guy saw the punks attack on the TV station and decided to meet with Soot on their turf. The meeting is supposed to take place tonight during Soot's concert. Concert? I know. I'm not really a fan of his music myself. But that's not what those shows are really about. Why don't we, uh, get out of here, huh? Lewis. Such as meeting the new guy tonight at the slaughterhouse. Copy that. Pick me up at the station. I'll grab my gear. By the way, I've got something for you, Murphy. They call me Pickles. Eh, <laughs> and you guessed it. There's a funny story behind that name. This one time, I saw Torchhead stealing a delivery truck. And after, hoping that a VCR would fall off the back of the truck, you know. But it turned out to be a grocery. Yes, AK-74. I don't have no ammo. So you are an opportunist. Hey, I prefer street You know what they say. Good business is where you find it. Dude, I didn't use the stun. I forgot. I'll do it next time. Thanks, Tin Man. Hey, uh, did Briggs tip you off that I might be here? Officer Briggs? Yeah, he's my police go-to guy. Officer Briggs is missing. Missing? Shit. May our city have mercy on him. How do you know Officer Briggs? Ah, uh, we go back a long way. He gave me a helping hand when I hit rock bottom. And I've been in his debt ever since. He even introduced me to his family. Great kid and wife, though. His missus don't seem very fond of me. You seem proficient in undertaking police tasks. Ever thought of making a living out of it? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> One thing you should know about me. I love cops, you know, law enforcement, laws, all of that. I think those are great ideas. But so is Nuke, and when I need it, I tend to forget about the other stuff. So, you know what they say, you can only serve one master. Do you think Briggs is in trouble? Briggs. Last time I saw him, he was going to check a case of missing bodies. Sounded like a bogus lead, so I didn't press him. Funny enough, he always tells me to be careful when getting info. But the truth is... You're not the one running around gangster's paradise dressed in blue. Need to go. Duty awaits. Uh, uh about that. 
I've got a favor to ask. I know that Briggs is missing, but I've got something that belongs to him. He must have misplaced it the last time he visited my crypt, and it's kind of weighing me down. What is it? It's his wristwatch. Now, I feel bad holding on to it. Would you please give it back to his family? This is stolen property, and you expect me to return it? Gee, that sounds bad when you say it like that, but still, you shouldn't let me hold on to expensive things. That's how I ended up in this situation in the first place. I will make sure they receive it from the repentant thief. Oh, boy. You're a tough negotiator. But surely you don't mean now. I gotta chillax after all this. We will proceed with haste. Oh, for God's sakes, man. As you command, Officer Steely. Hey, Tin Man, over here. This is where Briggs lives. Let's get this over with. His watch is burning a hole in my pocket. Check it. Obstruction of fire hydrant. It's ridiculous. One parking ticket is all it takes to improve mindfulness. So am I back to this point where I'm leaving? Yeah, I figured there's more. There's three. I remember seeing the stolen vehicle on the map. So there's time to repent. Apartment 21. Uh-oh. Oh, man, my hands are sweaty. Are you going into a drug-related withdrawal? Do you require medical assistance? Uh, what? What? No, I'm just nervous. Wow, Gail has a complicated relationship. She's good at reading people, and I'm the type of person that doesn't like ah, He closes read. the door. I know that inevitably I'll do something she doesn't approve of. Like steal a watch? Like steal a watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's a bad relationship. Stay single, guys. Stay single. Wait, I want to see. No, oh, that's it. Are you here about Mike? Yes, I am sorry to hear about your husband. Oh, Gail. no, 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 no. This junkie is not coming inside. What else are you going to steal? Uh, funny you should say that. I can't stand him. I'm sure he has something to do with Mike being missing. Are you any closer to finding my husband? We are still looking. Is there anything more that you could tell me about his disappearance? I've already reported what I know, but if you have any more questions, shoot. 
I heard that he was looking into reports of bodies going missing. An old lady approached him at the precinct and told him a sob story about how she couldn't afford to bury her husband. Can you believe that? Anyway, when she finally collected enough money and went back to the morgue, only to find that they had lost her husband's body, Mike went to check it out and never came back. Where was the last location that he was seen? I remember him telling me that he was leaving his jurisdiction, that that's where the leads were taking him. I tried to convince him not to go. It seemed dangerous, but he felt sorry for that old lady. He went against his own rules and me. He left angry because we'd been arguing. Do you remember the exact location? He never told me, but maybe it's in his files. Why do you think that Pickles is involved in your husband's disappearance? My husband's a good man. Sometimes too good for his own sake. He believes in second chances, even if someone doesn't deserve them. Like Pickles? That unappreciative asshole constantly gets himself into trouble. I mean, who's always there to get him out? You guessed it, salt of the earth, Mike. Pickles has a bad influence on my husband. I think I have everything I need for now. Knowing you're on the case makes me a little less anxious, Robocop. Now I just need to break it down for our son. He does not know? <laughs> I didn't know how to tell him. He's a smart kid, and I think he suspects something. Could you maybe tell him to come home? It's getting late, and the streets aren't safe these days. He normally dawdles, but having you tell him should <laughs> light a fire in his britches. I will make sure that he returns home, madam. Thank you. He's playing on the basketball court nearby with his friends. That went pretty much as expected. We are not done. We're not? You still have that watch, do you not? There is someone who needs to learn. We must get to the basketball court. That's just around the corner. Um, are we playing? What's that got to do with time? Is it like time to kick my ass? We are going to remind Gail's son that it is past curfew. Oh. Daniel. Sure. Ah, bummer. He's not here. Maybe these guys saw him. I saw I didn't see anything. Citizens. I need Need what? Some spare parts? Hey, there's a mechanic up the road. We all have to obey the rules of the games we play. Unsportsmanlike conduct makes all players look bad. That's right, fool. That was a technical foul. I didn't know he's so delicate. What do you need? We're looking for a kid. His name's Daniel. He was playing here earlier. Why? Is it past his bedtime? It is. Yeah, I saw a couple of kids drawing with chalk they found lying around that crime scene over there. Thank you for the information. Congrats, guys. You just became police informants. It has its perks. You'll love it. I see a couple of drawings over there. This was drawn not long ago. Ah, there's more over there. Wait a second. I do have skill points. I wanted to get the uh, dash. I already have it on. Oh man, are we really jaywalking? Oh. That's a hundred dollar fine. Huh. I guess we're conducting an investigation.
thought I had it. Thought I carried over, but. That's the thing, you can't really use dash all the time. Daniel! Come on, kid! Where are you? The trap. Shoe print, size seven. That's gotta be his. locked they did not go inside I want to go up there but something is over here they threw out the chalk here yeah what the fuck oh shot place. we better hurry huh Glass. Do it. Come on. And him. What are you waiting for? Fuck him up. He's laughing at you. Hey, what the hell's going on over there? Yo! Daniel! Oh no. It's the cops. I don't want to go to jail for this shit. Is that a gun? Oh, you're in so much trouble, kid. No, it's not. <laughs> Whoa! I knew he was gonna get shot. What the hell? You're lucky that Tin Man here doesn't have a real heart. He'd have a hole in it right about now. Sorry, sir. You will be once your dad hears about this. My dad's missing, so he can't tell me nothing. My mom said that he's out on an assignment, but I know the truth. He's not coming back. Why'd you say that? He's always been a stickler for following the rules. I guess that's why he's missing. Cops can't shoot without giving a warning, and someone got the drop on him. But that's not gonna happen to me. I'm going to be the one that shoots first. That's why my friends say... Your friends are knuckleheads. If you listen to them, you're a knucklehead too. Come on. Sit down. We need to talk. Those friends of yours, they take the easy way out. You don't want to go down that road. It leads to a dark, lonely place. Do you know why your dad is such a stickler for the rules? Because he's a chump. Because it's the right thing to do. It's not always easy to do the right thing. It takes strength and you think my dad has that kind of strength are you kidding me your father has enough strength for the both of us he even helped an ungrateful addict that he found in one of these buildings that smelled of rotting garbage half dead and covered in vomit and instead of writing him off your father opened his home to him because that's the right thing to do that strength don't you think there's someone else who could use that kind of support now? Mom. See, you already know what to do. You can start by giving her this. She's looking for it. Is he going to arrest me? No, it's your first offense. So he'll let you off with a warning right right it's late let's get you home well you tell my mom about the gun no she doesn't like me already thanks for the help tin man i'll talk to you later
partner. What's the status on the old slaughterhouse? I have to take care of something. We can go there soon. Sure thing. Pick me up at the station when you're done. I'm gonna do the other side missions. I don't... The problem with the side missions is that I don't know where they are. It could be anywhere. I think I have more. Stolen vehicles. I saw a stolen vehicle earlier, but it doesn't show up anymore on the, um, on the radar. That's the problem with this. Over there, that's where the whole film set was at. Like it doesn't say anything stolen. I've done the whole film set area. I mean, it's pretty big. Like going inside that apartment and doing that mission, that wasn't even in the demo, or at least I didn't know it was. That's just how big this is. So, I haven't been over here. Look at that. See you. Chess. See, I can't use the dash. I was able to on the demo. Is this it? Help, help. This rascal was trying to steal my cart. Look what he's done. Have I just wrecked your life savings? Tough shit, stinker. Maybe this is a mission. Antisocial behavior towards a fellow citizen can be classified as a crime. What? Lesson for the future to save yourself the trouble clean up on the double You can't wow. do it. I was only messing. I could have just picked it all up Hey, you tell him robot man. What a fucking joke That's crazy Really wanted to complete all the missions before I leave the area. There's another phone. In the demo, I do remember one part where there's a guy in a garage. That's right. There was a mission where there was a guy, it was a mechanic. So I think that is one. I. Not down there, I already checked it. It was. There's nothing there. 
It was on one of the main streets there, I'm thinking. I'll check. But... Wait. That wasn't it. Yeah, there was a guy in the demo. No short-term investments. Not in this market. We're looking at an annual return of 9.2% if you diversify your portfolio based on the volatility report. Deferred profit shares are where it's at. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. But, uh, but you're homeless. There was something over here, I remember. Hold on. Over here. Yeah, he gets a ticket. Drinking in public, dude. That's crazy. Public drinking is against the law. Public? But this is my private sofa. I've dragged it all the way from the junkyard. You need to obey the law. Like it's for you to decide. My place, my law. Sense of entitlement has a negative impact on the ones around you. I think I can live with that. This is it. This is it. This is the mission. I think it was a stolen hey, car. I don't know. Late filing my tax return, but sending a one-man army seems like an overreaction. I am here to investigate the theft of a blue SUX 6000 that belongs to Melissa Kuzak. Fancy car and fancy name, but I hardly ever get the pleasure of dealing with either. Do you have any information about the whereabouts of this vehicle? To be honest. I did some work on one of those cars recently, but I can assure you that it was not the one you're looking for. Do I have your permission to search the shop? I know what the world's like, but can a man go about his business without being harassed all the damn time? Citizen, I would like to inform you that knowingly delaying an investigation is classified as a felony. Yada, yada, yada. I don't have all day to listen, nor do I understand this bureaucratic jargon. Would you like to call your lawyer and have him explain it to you? You know what? If you really think you'll find evidence of that SUX ever being here, then be my guest. That's his locker. Go on, have a look. Wait. There we go. What do you reckon? Is he your man? For the time being. Where is the suspect? You see, he hasn't turned up for work for some time. This morning, when two thugs swang by looking for him, I knew he must be in trouble. I've overheard him many times talking about a place where he does car jobs on the side. Give me the precise location. I can't tell you exactly where it is. All I know is that it's one of the garages near the local storage compartments. Tell me why you think he is responsible. He's young, bright, and would like to rule the world. I get it, but nearly every month he gets himself in trouble. It is not enough to make assumptions. I'm not a cop, but I've seen many things in my life, and where there's smoke, there's usually fire. Is he a temporary worker? You could say that, 
We fall out a lot because he brings a lot of hot stuff to the shop, and I'm not okay with it. And you let him come back? It's hard to make an honest living these days. That's why I understand his struggle, and I let him come back. Working here keeps him out of trouble. And to be frank, it's not easy to find such a good mechanic either. Why did you cover for him? I can't watch a decent kid like him get swallowed by this city. Don't look at me like that. Instead of giving him up, I was encouraging him to come clean. But a man can only try. That is all for now. Hey! Make sure no harm comes his way. He might have done some foolish things in the past, but he's a good kid, and he deserves another chance. A court of law will be the judge of that. So I don't want to go that that way. Cause there's one more side mission. I'm sort of. Shoes. I found the dumpster behind the mega store. I got fifteen bucks for them. Shh, quiet. Unless you want to lose them. Gas station. Who, who's there? Oh, it's only you. It's only me, huh? Is that where I'm going? Is that door? No. Oh. Yeah, here's the garage, yeah. There's one more mission after me. Oh god, I messed up good. You must be Scott. What did you do with the blue SUX 6000 that you stole? Hey, well, why would I have anything to do with that? I have found evidence in Ben's shop. You can't possibly help me. I don't want to cause any more trouble, especially for Ben. Admitting to a crime is the best course of action for any young offender. I can't go to Juvie. Who's going to fix this mess? My duty is to serve the public trust. Okay, okay. I admit. It was me who jacked the SUX. But he didn't leave me any choice. Who is he? I can't tell you. If he knew I gave him away, he'd take revenge on Ben. Oh God, it must be those thugs. We're dead. No one is gonna save us. If they are criminals, then they are the ones who need saving. Hello? Anybody home? Where are you, Scotty boy? Oh shit. There's the dash. He's a stun. Oh man, it's like a flashbang. He didn't stun. He didn't stun at all. Yeah, he didn't actually stun. Let me do it again. Look out! Pin that! Oh, they stunned a little bit. Wow. Anything else you need to know? Just shoot. But not literally. Who did you mean by him? It's Rex, from the local gang. I only did petty jobs for him mostly, but this time he made me steal that car. He said he wanted the SUX 6000 we were repairing at Ben's. When I said it was too hot, he slashed me with his knife. Why were you hiding? You saw those thugs. They were looking for me. They realized I tricked them. They wanted the SUX 6000 from Ben's shop. But I didn't want to get him into trouble, so I stole a different one. I doubt anyone would have given a shit, but word on the street is that it belongs to the mayor's niece. Any criminal matters should be reported to the police. 
I know. I just thought I could figure this out by myself. Ben was right from the start. I shouldn't have gone down this road. That is all for now. Yes, I thought over here. This is what I remember is this area.
Dang. Freaking head blew off. I need level six. I think that car is in the movies. See, I didn't even see this before. Freaking tag. They have the tech at, like, at a bad spot. It's like right at the left of the door as soon as you walk you've in. actually done it do you think i could take that car back to the owner and say i'm sorry maybe she won't press charges this car is now in police custody oh please i could really use a helping hand right now otherwise i'm back in juvie i do not trust criminals you will explain yourself in court i knew i had it coming There's another one. That's like four. Four now, maybe five. That sucks. Because there's one more, I think. I wish they just like tell me where it's at. Guys, no. I'm pretty sure there's one more uh, side mission, and I I really want to do them all before I move on, and then I'll stop the video after that. It says like once you move on and you don't do it, like you fail. So nothing there. So I'm just walking up the street here. I think there's one more side mission. I don't know where it's at. There was one mission with the phones when I play the demo, but I don't know. And it could be like you could talk to it. I already did the arcade. Yeah, it could be something as simple as like you talk to a random person, but there's no indication of what who the person would be. This whole area is empty now.
No clue of chain. Could have sworn there's a mission with uh I only have one skill point out there. Let's go. I guess I'll go try to leave, but man, I needed that. This is long. I already know it is. be my last one of the day I think right now it's almost seven it's not late but I need to edit this shh pigs mind your own business cop I already went up to her. Thought there was something with the phones before. She mentioned something about the courthouse, but. Check over here and then I'll probably just leave. Uh... Yeah, no one says anything. Yeah, I'm a little annoyed. Hold on. I have an inventory? L. L, M, and J. Let me try those buttons. Hold on. Serve and protect. Also, oh, that's what serve and protect is. Have no fail. That's what serve and protect is. I have two more violations. And again, that could be anything like, like the cars next to the fire hydrant or the guy down there was talking to the other guy at the pizza and he said, oh, you're not supposed to bother him or whatever. Okay, I did track. 
I did track. I don't know if it'll work. Let's see. No. It's tracking that. I can't track that. Drive to Little Slaughterhouse. That's the next main mission. So I double click. So I'm tracking that now. But you can't really track that. I've already done that. Yeah. He has a ticket. It's not like there's anyone doing anything bad at all. It's just like... Can I go back here? Yeah. I went back here. I don't think there's anything extra back here. Nothing back here. I mean, I could just leave. This video is, is it's two hours now. It has to be. Like I start this video around like, like right at 4.30 and it's 6.32 now. Gonna take too long to upload. Like the violations can be anything. That's the problem. And they want me to do like two more violations. Okay. So that's what serve and protect is. So that's how I find the objective. Which M? There's a map. Map. Okay. They show you where the ladders is at, which is interesting. Cause there could be something. I don't know. Could there be something on top? Yeah, I can add a marker. I already checked this for violation. Yeah. It's that arcade. 
Yo, I think I've been on that ladder. I can check though. Any violations? I've already done this so multiple times here. I think. Wait a second. No. It's, yeah, it still says four out of six. So, that doesn't count. And I don't. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I didn't issue the ticket, though. There it is. For some to learn how not to lose the track of time. So one more. How not to lose their money. It's back there. Haven't checked these cars. Huh. Yeah, those guys near the burger place. Yeah, I already did that. See, I've been up that ladder already. map there's a ladder here I really want to find it <laughs> I really want to find it dude There was nothing over near the pier area. I already checked. Cause I'm scanning right now, it would show up. I doubt those cars over there are in violation. It's usually on the street. So let me check this uh, ladder. There are a few ladders I haven't checked. There could be something on top that I'm missing. There's a ladder here. I haven't been up here. Just noob. Stolen a lot. Yeah. And then there's Briggs apartment building. That's the one I went inside of, but I doubt there's anything in there. That's not it? Yeah, that's the apartment. Though. I can't even go in. I was able to before. Once you do it, it's closed off. Nothing there.
Where's that ladder? Wait, they made the ladder inside here? I jump down, will I die? I don't think he can. Yeah, he can just jump. So, I'm not saying anything. That's all junkyard stuff over here. So, I tried. But, like I said, the violation can be anything. So,. It can be anything, man. I've looked around, I looked around. I'm just sort of tired right now. I don't know. It's a crime scene. Oh, you're with a boy. Nope, nothing's a violation. I don't know. I checked every car, so I'm done. I tried. I guess I'll have to miss it. This is where Sook is supposed to be hiding. Can't really call it hiding if he sent invitations to the whole city. A bit Rudy forgot about us. At least I will not feel bad crashing his party. Murphy, I was thinking about what happened to you at the TV station. Maybe you shouldn't... No need for alarm. Becker's chip is keeping my circuits in check. You're more than just circuits, Murphy. Underneath all that metal, there's still you. Alex Murphy is gone. He lost his life. And despite that burden, you carry on. You've done more for this city dead than anyone has alive. That has to count for something. Uh, I'm gonna shut up now. Just take this little something to remind you of what I've just said. Open it the next time Becker gets under your skin. Also, don't forget you have a partner who's counting on you. Concert in an old Wait. slaughterhouse? I suppose so. it fits those animals. The place looks deserted. Are you sure your junkie friend didn't mix up the venues? She was fine, okay. He's the type who likes to mix things up. We shall have to see. So let's destroy them. I'm assuming. And then, uh... This way. We would need a warrant. I can't believe those stupid directives are still holding you back. <clears throat> She Go went. Ahead, partner. No warrant. Oh, the stench. Someone okay. missed potty right. training. Cane drug lord. Almost succeeded, Cain. If Soot is such a great performer, shouldn't there be a big line in here? Regardless of his vocal abilities, I still want to see him sing.
Wait. I think I can hear something. Maybe your informer was right after all. Gherkin, was it? Pickles. Pickles. Yes. I definitely hear some commotion on the other side. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, shit! Pigs on our lap! Why can't you give us a fucking break? Justice never sleeps. I'm new. Handle those drugs, I doubt they know where they are. Another locked door. I'm going to call this probable cause. Punch his head off. Oh, that's her. Almost shot her. Behind you! Uh, up you get, big man. They're closing in on us. It's gonna go BOOM! 
I can't use this. I need more. No health. Let's split up. You clear this floor. I'll check upstairs. Lewis, wait. Don't worry, partner. We'll stay in contact. No, I don't have, have any more heals. But I can't use that, but I don't have. Unless I want to put points into it. Let me see. I'm going to have to do it. There you go. So I have vitality now. I need to heal. That's cool.
Oh, they've been upgraded. Everything lined up perfectly. Let us talk. Stay the fuck away. You can't touch me. I do business with the new guy. You seem to know a lot about him. You're not getting anything out of me. Do you know how many cops I've killed? I ain't scared of you. Besides, I'm pumped up with nuke like a freaking power plant. Then, get ready for a meltdown. You think you're gonna get anything out of the... That's quite a grip you got there! Is that supposed to scare me? Not a single scratch. <laughs> yourself out that's not even mine I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing Get it. Tell me it's bugs. What in the world is going on? I think I had to shoot random. This is interrogate. I have soot. He is ready to give me his statement about the new guy. Wouldn't you rather hear it from the man himself? Where is Officer Lewis? She's outside, right next to me. We're having a nice citizen officer chat. Oh. Why don't you take my rising star and join us so we can exchange partners? <laughs> What the hell are you doing now? The new guy is here. You are coming with me. In that case, giddy up! Oh, can you even feel the fear? Because you should be crapping in your pants right now. You have stepped into a big freaking mess! Cleaning up the town. Uh, that was an awesome concert. If it wasn't for you, they would have never have guessed it was all on playback. Well, I need some flu. I take no, no, no. Everywhere I look, I see no, no, no. My left hip is getting a bit numb. Can we swap sides? What are we stopping for? Huh? Is your battery drained or something? Now, me and your partner here are growing. 
growing impatient. Why don't you hurry up? What's wrong? Piggy scared of a mean hook? <laughs> Lewis? I'm all right, Murphy. Drop your weapon. You are under arrest. Oh, I don't think you're reading this situation correctly. <sighs> Thanks for the ride, big guy. Uh, it's the new guy in town. Welcome to Detroit. I assume you've seen our little TV spot. Short and sweet. You know the first rule of show business and drug dealing, right? them wanting more. That's a writer you got there. <clears throat> Murphy? Something wrong, cop. Hey, so, I think it's time to get back to business. You fucking idiot. Your stupid stunt put a spotlight on me. Oh, you want to talk business? Here's a free lesson. You never, ever fuck. Boom. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I don't think so. Murphy, what's happening? Now that we've got that out of the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Wendell Antonowski. I believe you've met my brother before. <laughs> my brother really did a number on you, didn't he? But thanks to him, you've been given this great opportunity. What the fuck are you doing to him? There are people who would do anything to be in your position, to have your abilities, and yet you attach yourself to something that is the weakest in you, to the part that's still human. Imagine the pristine life you could lead without the things that limit you. Murphy, don't let him get inside your head! Like her. No attachments, no leverage. I admit, when I first heard you were the reason my idiot brother was dead. Oh, I was furious. But then I got to thinking, why would I let anyone have such power over me? So I let it go. And now, I'm here to help you do the same. This is not an act of revenge. This is a gift. Fuck you, scumbag! Ah! Oh. Oh. Yeah, blast you. Another fucking glitch. What a shit show. Everything's ready. Switch him back on already. Lewis! Oh, Robo. Calm down. He'll tear the equipment apart. Wendell Antonowski ran away and Lewis is in the hospital. What did you do? Just stand there and watch it as it happened? I want to see her. She's in surgery as we speak, so that's not going to happen. Instead, you're going to go through with your psych evaluation. Let me go! The old man wasn't happy that I let you skip your first session and was adamant that I make sure you attend this one. Especially since the problem of you malfunctioning has obviously persisted. So, Doctor, do your thing. What? Now? He's in no shape to be examined. I'm afraid that I must insist. This is highly unprofessional. I need to apprehend Wendell. I don't think you understand your options, Shiny, in that you don't have any. You either comply, or you'll be dismantled. I'm only really rooting for one of these options. Very well. Doctor, 
If this is supposed to resemble a therapy session in any way, I need everyone that isn't my client to leave. That is not negotiable. And is it necessary to have him restrained? That's for your safety. What if he loses control? <sighs> exactly. If anything goes wrong, just use this reset button. One press, and he goes back to La La Land. Okay, let's leave the good doctor to work. And Robo, see me after this is over. I'm sorry it has to look like this. Are you at least sitting comfortably enough to have this conversation? My partner was shot, and I need to find the person responsible. You do. But I think you'll agree that you should be in the best shape possible to undertake that task. I understand this is not an ideal situation, and this is probably the last place you want to be right now. I'm not the only one unwilling to be here. Your heart rate is above 120 BPM. You're equipped with a heart rate monitor? I imagine it comes in handy in your line of work. It does. I agree this whole thing is happening rather fast, but we are both professionals at helping others. So how about we start again? My name is Dr. Olivia Blanche. Naturally, I've heard people refer to you by different names, but I'm curious to hear which one you prefer. Robocop is the name I was given. If that is what you prefer, then Robocop it is. I've worked with many police officers that have gone through traumatic experiences, but I think we can both agree that you are no ordinary police officer. How do you see your situation? I'm a police officer who was killed in the line of duty. I was given a second chance and resurrected inside this metal shell. Clinical death and waking up in a body that is not quite yours is a first for me too. In a patient, that is. But that's something that I've already learned from the reports. What I would much rather hear is how do you perceive yourself? Perceive? Yes. See, what I found immensely helpful in working with my patients is transparency. In order to help each other, we need to be able to see each other fully. This is how I see myself. Thank you for making this step. Now that you see me the way I am, do you wish to push the reset button? Your heart rate remains high. No, not at all. It's actually my secret that is making me nervous, not yours. You're not the only one here with prosthetic body parts. This hand, you must have wondered what happened. Some time ago, I was a victim of a crime. A thief broke into my house. He made a lot of noise and my neighbors called the police. And Ed 209 reacted to the call and mistakenly recognized me as a threat. My hand was red mist moments later. Since that day, I have become, let's say, a little wow. more machines. Like some my robot. Do you fear me? I fear the unpredictability that machines bring with them. So when I heard there was a chance to contribute to the research on the stability of OCP's mechanical units, I jumped at the opportunity. I hope you don't find it unprofessional. Getting that off my chest made me feel a bit better. How about you check my pulse now? It has dropped below 120 BPM. You see, I don't just impose things onto my clients. I practice what I preach because it seems to work. I think that makes for a very promising start. Thank you, Robocop. All right. So when it gets to evaluation, that's basically the end of that whole level stage. That was, I guess I knew it was going to be long. Got an A. Suits final encore. There you go. So, I have skill points, three of them. All done. Robo, there's something I need to show you. 
mandatory evacuation. Uh, and that was a whole evaluation. So I think that's my stopping point. And uh, hopefully you're enjoying it so far. Uh, I'm liking the game. You know, I'm liking the game. Just a lot of side missions. Uh, and he's sort of slow, so it took a while. And I didn't even finished all of it. But anyway, I'm done for now. Uh, I'll see you.